In this video, I want to look at the Weierstrass product definition of the gamma function. And so, uh, what does that say? That says that gamma of z is equal to this product definition. It's equal to e to the minus little gamma z, where this little gamma is the euler mascheroni constant, uh, times uh, this infinite product. Uh, n equals 1 to infinity e to the z over n divided by 1 plus z over n. And this euler mascheroni constant is defined like this. Uh, it's defined to be equal to uh, a limit with m going to infinity of 1 plus 1 over 2 plus 1 over 3 plus dot 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 plus 1 over m minus log m. Uh, so this, this is just the definition of this constant right here. Um, and so one thing to note is that this product definition right here is a little nicer than the Euler uh, product definition of the gamma function because here, here you have exponentials which are easy to multiply together and the other one you have some weird you know, 1 plus 1 over n raised to the z thing uh, in your product which is a little harder to work with. Um, so so this, this definition of the product form of the gamma function ends up being one of the more useful definitions of the gamma function. Okay, uh, so what do I want to do in this video? What I want to do is prove to you that uh, this, this definition of the gamma function right here is equivalent to the Euler product definition of the gamma function. And we know from the previous video that if those two are equivalent, uh, then this is also equ equivalent to the integral definition. So, so really I'm just showing that all three ways of writing the gamma function are, are the same. They're, they're, all, they're all different ways of writing the exact same function. All right, so let's, let's do that. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do in order to prove that is to, uh, is twofold. I'll, I'll first start off by writing this uh, euler mascheroni constant in terms of its limit definition. So let's do that. So that's gonna be, we're gonna get that this guy's equal to limit m going to infinity e to the minus, and so 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 let's substitute this, and it'll be minus z minus z over two minus z over three dot 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 minus z over m minus or plus z log m. Okay, this divided by z, and then our product. Um, and then, then we have this product right here, and I'm also going to rewrite this product a little bit. Um, and I'm going to do it by pulling out this e to the z over n um, and making this a partial product. So, so what exactly do I mean by that? I mean that um, one way that we could rewrite this is just as a, so, so this is exact, um, e to the z over n, 1 plus z over n. So in the limit where m goes to infinity, uh, this is the exact same as this expression up here. Um, and then, since this is only a partial product, I can rewrite this e to the z over m like this. Uh, I can rewrite it as, so, so we'll have e to the minus z minus z over 2 dot 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 minus z over m plus z log m over z. And then we can pull out this e right here and that'll be equal to e to the uh, z plus z over 2 plus dot 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 plus z over m times, and we've just pulled that out of this finite product, 1 over 1 plus z over n. Um, but notice that uh, the term, these two exponentials have a lot of terms in common. If we, if, we, if we multiply these two together, then every term's going to cancel. This minus z will cancel with this z, minus z over 2 with that z over 2 all the way up leaving us with just z to the log m, or, or z times log m. So this thing simplifies a ton. No, 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 use a different color now. Uh, this simplifies a ton. And what we get is limit uh, m going to infinity e to the z log m over z times product n equals one to m, one over one plus z over n. And this, this term right here is also known as m to the z. So we can rewrite this as m to the z. m to the z over z 
finite product n equals one to the m one over one plus z over n. Okay, so this is starting to look a little bit closer to our Euler product definition of the gamma function, but we're not quite there yet. We need to rewrite this m in some way in order to move it in here such that it looks like what we expect from the Euler definition. Uh, so how am I going to do that? Well, I'm going to use a big trick right here. And so here's, here's the trick I'm going to use. Notice that m, m is equal to m factorial over m minus 1 factorial. All right, that, that, that's sort of just, just true from, from the definition of the factorial function. Um, but if we expand this out, then this is equal to, this is equal to 2 over 1 times 3 over 2 times dot, 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 m over m minus 1. So this right here, just in terms of its factorial definition, can be written as a, a product from n equals 1 up to m minus 1 of 1 plus 1 over n. And in fact, we can make this we can make this product go all the way up to m if we write it like this. Uh, 1 plus 1 over m to the minus 1 times times the product n equals 1 to the m 1 plus 1 over n. Because re really what we're what we're doing right here is we're we're just doing this exact product up to m and then we're dividing out the nth term. And so because of that, uh, so, th so that's why these two are exactly the same. But it's nice that we have a product going up to m, because what that means is that uh, when we rewrite, when we substitute this guy in right here for z, so, so let's do that. So if we substitute that in, we get limit m going to infinity. We have 1 over z. Uh, we have 1 plus 1 over m inverse. Then we have product n equals 1 to m, 1 plus 1 over n, product m, n equals 1, 1 over 1 plus z over n. These two products, because they both start at the same point, end at the same point, can be combined. Uh, and when we combine them, what do we get? We get that this is become a limit m going to infinity, 1 over z, 1 plus 1 over m inverse, and then we have product, uh, the product n equals 1 to infinity, and this should all be to the z, right, because it's m to the z, so, so everything right here should be to the z. Um, uh, and so, and then, so we have this product right here, which is going to be 1 plus 1 over n to the z, divided by 1 plus z over n. So this is almost exactly the same as our Euler product definition of the gamma function. The only difference is that we have this extra term out in front, this 1 plus 1 over m inverse. Uh, but notice that in the limit where m goes to infinity, uh, this term right here is going to drop out. This is going to be equal to 0. And so what we're going to be left with, what we're going to be left with is, exa is exactly what we want. Um, so, so, so yeah, <clears throat> so this, this should still be m. Um, but yeah, lim limit as m goes to infinity, where we left with, we're left with 1 over z product n equals 1 to infinity, 1 plus 1 over n to the z, divided by 1 plus z over n. And this is exactly the Euler product definition of the gamma function. And so we've done it. Uh, we've proven that uh, this Weierstrass product definition of the gamma function is exactly the same as the Euler product definition of the gamma function. And since those two are the same, uh, and the product, the Euler product is the same as the integral definition, we know that the Weierstrass is the same as the integral. And so all three definitions of the gamma function that we've looked at so far are equivalent. Um, and that's great, because that means that we, we, we can use them all and inter 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 interchange them indiscriminately, which is, which is really good news. Uh, so I think I'll stop here. In the next video, I'm going to look at uh, the power of this Weierstrass uh, product definition of the gamma function. And in particular, I'm going to derive a very neat, very useful gamma function property uh, using this definition of the gamma function. So I hope to see you in that video.